Welcome everyone. In this video, we will discuss support from Amazon GuardDuty for AWS Lambda with GuardDuty Lambda Protection. This feature allows you to expand your Amazon GuardDuty threat detection coverage to continuously monitor network activity logs, starting with VPC flow logs generated from the execution of AWS Lambda functions to detect threats to Lambda, such as functions maliciously repurposed for unauthorized cryptocurrency mining or compromised Lambda functions that are communicating with known threat actor servers. Amazon GuardDuty is a threat detection service that continuously monitors your AWS accounts and workloads for malicious activity and delivers detailed security findings for visibility and remediation. Customers across many industries and geographies use Amazon GuardDuty, including more than 90% of AWS's 2,000 largest customers. With this launch, you can enable GuardDuty Lambda protection with a few steps in the GuardDuty console or with AWS organizations so that you can enable the feature centrally for all existing and new accounts in your organization without any configuration changes to your existing Lambda functions or new Lambda functions added in the future. AWS Lambda is a compute service that lets you run code without provisioning or managing servers. You organize your code into Lambda functions, run code for virtually any type of application or backend service. Just upload your code as a zip file or container image, and Lambda automatically allocates compute execution power and runs your code based on incoming requests or events from any scale of traffic. Currently, there are seven guard duty finding types for AWS Lambda protection in the threat purposes of backdoor, cryptocurrency, Trojans, and unauthorized access. Now, let's jump into the console for a brief demonstration. To get started, let us navigate to Amazon Guard Duty. If you have Amazon Guard Duty already enabled, on the left-hand navigation bar underneath Protection Plans, you will see Lambda Protection. Select this plan and then select Enable and Confirm. If you're using AWS organizations, you'll need to log into your delegated administrator account to enable Lambda protection. So once you've logged into your delegated administrator account, navigate it to the GuardDuty console and back to Lambda protection, you're presented with three options. You can either enable Lambda protection for your delegated administrator account, you can easily enable Lambda protection for all active accounts. And here with the toggle button, you can turn on audit enable. And so this will allow Lambda network activity monitoring to be automatically turned on for new member accounts as they join your organization. This will ensure that all accounts in your organizations have coverage and it'll eliminate the task of having to ensure the plan has to be turned on for every member account added to your organization. So we are going to enable for our delegated administrator for all active accounts and ensure that Lambda network activity monitoring is automatically enabled for all accounts. After you enable Lambda protection, GuardDuty will start monitoring Lambda network activity logs associated with the Lambda functions in your AWS account. When your Lambda function gets invoked and GuardDuty identifies suspicious network traffic that indicates the presence of a potentially malicious piece of code in your Lambda function, GuardDuty generates a finding. Here we are in the Guard Duty Finding section of the Amazon Guard Duty Console. Here under Findings, we have the finding type Unauthorized Access Lambda Tor Relay. This is a high severity finding, and the finding informs you that a Lambda function in your AWS environment is making connections to a Tor network in a manner that suggests that it's acting as a Tor Relay. In the next column to the right, under Resource, you'll be given a direct link to the Lambda function. And when you select the finding type, you are provided with additional information. When you select info, you have more information on the finding type, as well as direct links to the documentation. So this link would give you more information on the actual finding type and also links to remediation instructions for Lambda protection findings. Back into the panel, you have an overview section giving you information on the severity, the region, as well as when the finding was created. You have the resource that's been affected, so the version of the function, the name of the function, as well as the resource type. You have the ARN and also the roles attached to that function. Now, if you would like to test out this feature further, you can enable 
sample findings. So when you select settings, scroll down, you can find the sample findings section. You select generate sample findings. Then you can navigate back to your findings. And now you can select resource, resource type. We want to select Lambda, apply. And you're going to be provided with sample findings covering all seven finding types that are currently available within Amazon Guard Duty. In this video, we discussed Amazon Guard Duty threat detection coverage of AWS Lambda that allows you to continuously monitor network activity logs, starting with VPC flow logs, generated from the execution of AWS Lambda functions. If you would like to learn more, please visit www.aws.com forward slash guard duty.